So Lyle, you've been the CEO of North Star Genetics since October now. You were um, announced to be the CEO in June. Um, what has the transition been like from product manager to CEO? Well, it's actually been pretty good, Alex. Uh, my product manager role really expanded into a whole lot of other things over the five years I've been with Northstar. So uh, the last year of getting into the role, uh, going through the interview process last spring, being announced in June, uh, transition has been pretty good. So flipped the switch on October 1, Dan's retired and enjoying life and, and uh, still helps us a little bit, uh, cons some cons consulting. So mm -hmm. we enjoy having him around for that too. So been good. Perfect. And then as CEO, What's something new you want to bring to the table? Um, has anything changed in your transition? Uh, our business probably maybe needs to change a little bit. You know, so how do we go to market today compared to what we did when we first started North Star and the, the work we've been doing the last few years? Uh, how we go to market might make you know a little bit of a tweak that we do. Uh, always got to look at that, right? because the, the, the market changes all the time, number of farmers are changing, the dynamics of how we sell seed are changing. We have other disruptors coming into the market, so we always have to look critically at how we do business. So that'll be probably the main thing we'll focus on and making sure we're going to market in the right way. And then what's something you're excited about this year? Well, of course, I'm really excited about the opportunity to hopefully have E3 soybeans. Um, that could be a very big player for, for all of our industry. Uh, at North Star, I think we're positioned well to have a, a nice launch on something like that. So we're hopeful that all of the announcements that we've seen over the last 24 hours uh, can come to fruition quickly and we can get to work at that. So uh, seeing those changes in our industry, allowing us to serve our customers better, provide more options uh, is a great thing. Okay, great. Now we're sitting at the 30th annual conference of IPSA. And um, your, uh, your previous CEO, Dan Hogstad, was, the, um, was on the board of IPSA and is still on the board of IPSA, Correct. I believe. Yeah. Um, what do you think is the biggest benefit about being a member of IPSA? Well, just networking with peers and then having a group of peers that have a voice that is larger to help the individual companies. Uh, I think that is the most important thing uh, when you watch what the board pe uh, board does when they meet with different providers and so forth. They actually are our voice as individuals. And I think that's a real reason to be a part of the program. And then North Star says they know one thing, beans, mm -hmm. in particular soybeans, yep. right? Um, so there's been a bigger trend lately of soybeans moving north from the U.S. into Canada. What are y'all doing to prepare and tackle this trend? Well, the movement into Canada may be slowing down just a little bit. The, the last two years of drought have been you know, quite hard on some of the growers up in Canada. Uh, we're finding, though, there's still a lot of guys who want to learn how to raise soybeans. And so when we say we know beans when we're on the north side of the border, we know how to teach people to raise soybeans effectively and efficiently in Canada. And so we get great response from our growers, the people we talk to on that. So we're going to see a lot of activity for the North Star brand. Uh, just on how we're approaching customers uh, and teaching them how to grow soybeans, especially that's how we launched Manitoba. And so as we move into Saskatchewan, we're finding those growers that haven't raised soybeans, don't know how to, you know, put them in the ground right, timing, harvest, every piece uh, of the whole system they're looking for help on. So it's rewarding for our team to do that. We're adding some staff up there, even though the market's gonna be a little tight here for a couple of years, we're positioning ourselves well to be in front of a lot of growers. And so that movement up there is uh, really well. Our, our Northern market in the US has gotten to be quite a mature market. North Dakota was growing quite rapidly four or five years ago, and now that's a fairly mature market. So we're in a lot of competition with other you know, companies in that marketplace. And so finding that fit for us there is, is, is our, our next step as well. And so we're talking a lot about growers now. I'm preparing growers for, for upcoming challenges and teaching them. So what are some of the challenges you're expecting your growers to see in 2019. Um, have any of your local growers expressed any concern to you? Yes, so so we have concern about what, what 19 is gonna be like in comparison to 18 or 17. Um, weather, of course, is always the one thing that everybody wonders about. They always think that next year is gonna be just like last year. 
Okay, well, there's, I've never, I've been in this business since 1989. I've never seen two years back to back that we're the same. So keeping our growers aware of, of those kind of things and the challenges that we're gonna see in 19 are, are way different probably than what they saw in 18. So keeping everybody up, up to beat, you know, upbeat on all of that. Um, the financial side, there's some concerns there. Uh, markets are tight, you know, cost of goods, uh, um, you know, when you look at what they get for their grain at the elevator, it's, it's a tight market for everybody. So we have to manage our cost of goods so that we can offer a good price to our, our customers and so they can be profitable on their farm. But we can teach them ways to be profitable that don't relate to input costs. Uh, so again, teaching that grower how to raise soybeans properly, how to raise his corn properly, all those kind of things. We can add value in that fashion and that's what we think we're good at. And then I just have one last question. It's my favorite question to ask everyone. What's your number one priority for the next year, for 2019? Yeah, to create a slogan for North Star about corn. Yeah, we know soybeans, but we do a corn very, very well also. Uh, that's probably the strength that I have coming into North Star is my corn background. And I'm really excited about the opportunity to raise the bar on what we, we say about corn at North Star. And so that's probably the biggest biggest thing I'm taking on as a personal challenge. Well, perfect. We'll look forward to seeing you yeah. talk more about corn in the next year. Thank you so much for sitting down with me, Lyle. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it very much.